people are sick, people are hurt, people have family issues. You know, Sting has a family issue. You know, whatever's going on with Hangman. Apparently, at the show yesterday, it was just very chaotic. A lot of stuff being changed. A lot of stuff being thrown together at the last minute. Brian, Brian and Vinny, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. Wrestling, tell me who of your soap characters reminds you of Brian and why? I guess I'd have to be Tucker. Kind of looks like you a little bit. He's sneaky. Now we're talking. And he's <laughs> sneaky. Yeah. I have a neighbor over the top of his fence is the structure of a Mayor McCheese. I once got my head stuck in Mayor McCheese's helmet. There are other Mayor McCheese structures where they've welded over the hole. Really? Because I presume I'm not the only kid that got his head stuck in right, Mayor McCheese's right. helmet. Yeah. So I need, to, uh, I need to find out if this guy's got a hole or not. What's your favorite thing about being a great-grandmother? Well, I don't see too much of my great-grandkids, but uh, Clifford's God. been coming over a couple times on Sunday. We studied the Bible. You studied the Bible? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With Clifford. Up. What's the matter with you, Brian? Brian, if you don't watch out, I'll, I'll insist on having a, a Bible class on the show. I would love if you had a Bible class on the show. Go through. Oh, he's been smited. The Lord has smited Brian. Wow. The Lord struck you down, sir. Yep. Uh, that's my new favorite moment on the show ever, I think. <laughs> is this thing still on with Rock and Roman Reigns? It'll be Rock and Roman Reigns against Cody and Seth Rollins. And then the next day, it will be Cody versus Roman Reigns. Oh, I don't think that's right. You know who I think that he should let him win? Who's that? Oz Ozo. Oh, Ozo. It'd you mean Jay Uso? Yeah, because I think uh, Rock is way too old. Well. And I don't believe in the, the one that they have for him now. That's my comment on that. I remember my mom saying she was in love with this guy, and the mother-in-law didn't like it, so she made my mom sick. She thinks his mother was a witch. If your neighbor's a witch, you can catch her by digging a post hole, pouring milk in it, and then stomp in it. And if she jumps around in her yard, then she's a witch. Huh. If you read a certain book, the furniture starts jumping around in the room. But I was pretty Do young. we know what book this is? Because I would like to read it here on the program. I don't know. Yeah, Holocaust. this led to a lot of people asking if uh, Granny smokes marijuana. Is that uh, possible, Granny? Some of these I stories you've been telling I, I, us here? After uh, smelling the neighbors, I, I got kind of used to it. Uh, I think Secondhand I, marijuana. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so excited about that secondhand <laughs> marijuana. Mm. And Rock looks at Vince, shoots him the eyebrow, puts on a sharpshooter, and Vince says to ring the fucking bell. It is, in fact... A Montreal screw job one year after Montreal, and The Rock oh. is your new WWF world champion. I was like, oh my God. I guess maybe if it had been like just, you know, we hadn't seen it 5,000 times. But having <laughs> seen it 5,000 times to go back and see it again, could you have come up with a shittier finish than that one? Renee is interviewing Flair. He has been gone for a month. He has also apparently been dealing with some personal issues. He was available, and so they're going to try to play it into the storyline in this way. And uh, that is the tease that he is going to side with the Young Bucks. It wouldn't be Sting's retirement match if Flair didn't try to screw him one more time. The three best things on this show were not wrestling, right? which is very unusual for Dynamite. The three best things on this show were the Daniel Garcia promo, the Sting and Darby Allen video package, and the Wardlow promo. The matches were the weak point of the show, particularly what came next. Yes, what came next was a complete disaster. Deanna going for just like fall back. A, a downward just, spiral. Madison tried to do a flip and she got spiked, spiked right on her head. It was a terrible match. It was the worst dynamite match in a I've long seen. time. I mean, maybe ever. Quite possibly ever, ever, yes. Because yeah. a gravity match was on collision. That was the other runner-up. <laughs> okay. She said, you know, if you've never been in the ring, you know, those of you that are, you know, criticizing me, man, listen, I mean, the vast majority of the criticism I heard was from people who have been in the ring. He reveals, in fact, that seven days ago, his father passed away, 
He was like a hero to me. Everything I have left in me, I'm bringing to revolution. And it's gonna meet you face to face, you bucks. You have a fight on your hands, the fight of your life. Ruled! It's ruled. This promo was so awesome, but at the same time, I felt so bad for Sting. That sucks, yes. It's all true. You know, that's why he wasn't there last week when they did that follow-up with Darby. And he's, you know, he's got other things going on in his life that aren't great right now. And it's just a lot of things happening right when he's supposed to be celebrating the end of his career. So I wish the best for him. Hangman escapes a muscle buster. But when he lands on his feet, he sells his ankle and immediately ta- uh, tags out and rolls to the floor. Hangman is fine, but uh, he may not work the pay-per-view. And so he did this ankle deal as a potential out. He has an issue going on in his life. It's nobody's business what it is. I tried to make that very clear today. It's nobody's business what it is. But there is something going on. He may do the pay-per-view, and he may not. Apparently, at the show yesterday, it was just very chaotic. A lot of stuff being changed. A lot of stuff being thrown together at the last minute. You know, people not expecting to work, but because somebody else wasn't going to be there, they had to work. You know, so it's uh, you could see watching the show that it was not smooth sailing from start to finish. The commentary team of Vic and Byron lost my patience with them in one match. I listened to the promos afterwards. Whenever there's a wrestling match going on, I muted it and loaded up some music on YouTube. I heard very little of what Vic and Byron had to say, and it improved things one million percent. There's Thea Hale, there's JC Jane, and there's a third female. God, this fucking mystery woman. Later on, they actually put a graphic on screen because she comes down to the ring with JC Jane. Oh, yes, they did. Her name is Jasmine. Nix. I refuse to believe that this is not a rib specifically on me. Yeah. There has never been a more NXT name than Jasmine Nix with two Y's. What the fuck is a Jasmine Nix? Where did she come from? Why is she with JC? Did I miss a year's worth of shows? Tatum then says, and this is a direct quote God, this will be. The hardest thing I have ever done. Not going to ringside for a match tonight. I'm going to shoot, bust myself open with this microphone. Death television. The Uh, fucking virgin versus the fornicator after all these years. Yes. Not a main event on the show. Not a top of the hour match. They had that awesome backstage segment a couple of weeks ago. And it's just a match. Yes, but they worked yeah. hard. It was good. What an intense, mean guy match this was. Yeah, they had a hell of a match. Two friends. They just went the right at each, at each other. They ain't doing shit with Gallows and Anderson on the main roster. Sure. So bring them down here. Look look at how awesome Baron Corbin's been. Sure. We've got, we've got the fucking wolf dogs because they sent dudes down from the main roster. So I ain't going to second guess any of this. I'm happy. She just drops from the f- apron to the floor and tears her ACL. That sucks. That is a very common way that a lot of people tear it. And it totally sucks. But like you jump off something, you land on two feet, you tear your ACL. Total fluke injury. Nobody did anything stupid. And, you know, she's out of action for nine months. So, you know, her sister had cancer. Her father died. Yeah. Tore ACL. Like this is one of those things. Just boom, boom, boom. One after another. So all the best to Shotzi. Horrible. This lash, man, she's going to go all the way. I mean, this was a big thing for her. And she went out there and she didn't panic. She didn't choke. She didn't. I mean, she did a great job. So I was very, very impressed. But, uh, you know, the rest of the show, like all NXTs, high highs. Yeah, but man, low lows. The lows were very, very low here. (laughs) 